All right, Mr. Neeran here. So I was almost done going through every single character from the c from the mod, not the uh, not the vanilla characters, even though I showed some of them that I thought were important. But for the most part, I didn't really check any character from the vanilla game. But unfortunately, when I tabbed out to show off the, the exe files and bat files and such, and speak a bit about that outside of the game, the, the recording just stopped, so when I returned to the game I thought it was still recording, only to look at this, the upper right, upper left corner here, see that the symbol here had disappeared, and I was almost done with the video, so uh, yeah, most of my speaking wasn't recorded, so in any other game, most other games I can, this is not Bandicam, it's the Nvidia Shadowplay recorder, so usually when you tab out of a game, it will still record, and then when you go back in into the game, it will still record. That's the case in Rome Total War, and it's the case in Medieval Total War, and in many other games. Essentially all the games I've played, except this one. So uh, I thought it was still recording outside of the game, and I thought it was still recording when I returned to the game, and I for some reason didn't realize that it had stopped recording until I was almost done with going through uh, all the thousand characters like one thousand characters or so and um, yeah then I realized that it hadn't recorded exited and checked the video files and I realized that I had only recorded the first 49 min uh, minutes before I went through all the characters so the, the stuff I, I, where I showed all the characters and spoke about them um, wasn't recorded so I'll have to redo that again later uh, because it's cool. Uh, not only does this mod include like over 1000 DC characters, but it also has uh, like uh, uh, it's, it's really cool and vast. And uh, when you start a campaign, you have a bunch of options. You have the DC campaign. I mean the just DC Justice League of America campaign we replaced the Justice League. And you have the Batman campaign where you replaced the Batman characters and villains, or just the heroes against the villains. I don't know. I haven't played it, uh, but the Batman universe, and then you have Aquaman, and I know that the Aquaman campaign is really extensive. And then you have two other campaigns too that I don't know much about. Uh, but um, and uh, when you go to the Rumble mode where we are and, and play different modes like yeah, uh, play fr fr from Fool Soldier, pl playing from Fooler on Patrol, Police Example, Spy Games, Alice Example, etc, etc, Free For All, Epic Mode, Team Mode. Um, then you can pick all the villains and all the heroes from the, from the mod. But you can also pick any custom character you make from the custom folder. If you first create the character, you need to click on the character create the creator menu, and then you need to create the character and give all the skills and such, and then it will be available to you. And uh, you can also use the vanilla games characters. Uh, but if you pick the Batman campaign, then when you start campaign, you will play the Batman campaign. But you will still have all the characters in Rumble mode, which I compare to custom battle. Medieval 2 or Rome to the War. Anyway, um, and yeah, this game also has multiplayer where you can play against others, up to four players, I believe. You need four different computers. You can use, use two computers against one other player. You can play over LAN, over internet, etc. Where you have four heroes each and can fight each other. But against AIA, you can have up to three teams, as we saw. And uh, yeah, the campaign just dictates which campaign you will play when you start the campaign mode. But otherwise the rumble mode has all the characters no matter what. So, I had uh, essentially I picked uh, airfield, I believe. One of the vanilla stages, a decent part. Uh, I believe... Um, okay... And then I'd go through all of these, a lot of characters. We're almost done. Took easily 
more than an hour to get through all of them one by one. Anyway, probably two hours. Okay, uh, and it wasn't recorded. <sighs> but anyway, we'll have to do it again. But now I need to go and eat and stuff. Okay, but see you later. I will try to tab out now to see if it stops recording. So this will probably be the end of this video. I will upload a video with the first fif 49 to 50 minutes here. Then we'll do another one where I go through all the characters and talk about them like I already did, but without it being recorded. So I will still go through all the characters because it's an extensive list. Where I also provide the details on, on the mod and the characters in question and I don't know everything about every character but for those I had knowledge of I did uh, give an explanation but for those I don't know I just commented the models okay and um, yeah it's a very extensive mod if you like DC or the DC universe or any of the DC universe properties like Batman, Aquaman, Stargirl uh, yeah you know Teen Titans, etc., then this mod is a must play. If you like Freedom Force, this is a must play too. Freedom Force with the Third Reich, the expansion from 2005. Uh, this mod is uh, from 2021, but I saw videos of it already in 2008, so the creator, Benton Gray, has worked on it for a very long time, for over 14 years. Okay. <coughs> but he has worked on other mods too, like the equally big Marvel mod that is actually 100% completed, unlike this one, and and uh, the Ninja Turtles mod and the P Pulp Fiction mod. Yeah, they are not as big in size, but they are still impressive. Especially the Pulp, Pulp Fiction mod. I tried it a little bit. I tried the Turtles mod too. The Turtles mod is not as big in size, it has only about 12 heroes. They have like uh, many additional characters available from other places that weren't from the mod that I planned on, you know, using to replace characters because they were of higher quality, but uh, HD I believe, but didn't work well, I believe they ended up bugged. Anyway, yeah, because they weren't compatible with some of the custom animations and the tags and such, I believe. <coughs> had some different gear. Okay, but um, yeah, we'll try it tab out now, but this is the end of the video if it stops recording. So bye if that's the case. Otherwise I will continue a little bit longer. Hello, Mr. Niren here. So we're gonna check the mod db page and the <coughs> dot .bat files of the mods made by Benton Gray, the modder who is most known for making a lot of uh, Freedom Force versus the Third Reich mod mods. Alright, so his first two mods are based on Ghostbusters and the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So I, I never cared about Ghostbusters, but we can check the mod page anyway, as it's the same creator. I never played this mod, released in 2011. It's for the game Freedom Force versus the Third Reich vs. the Third Reich. Okay, and uh, the game was developed by Rational Games, Digital Jesters, released in 2005. I finished this game, by the way, Freedom Force vs. The, th the Third Reich. Okay, so Ghostbusters Trick of Terror. Summary. How the folks, and belated Halloween, in the spirit of the season I decided to put together a little treat for the Freedom Force community, Halloween present, if you will decided to throw together a quick one-shot Ghostbusters mod for Halloween. I hope y'all will enjoy Ghostbusters Trick of Terror. So I'm a Swedish guy, so you will have to deal with my not perfect English. Okay. Summary. How, um, yeah. <coughs> Follow our intrepid heroes as they try to save New York from a Halloween gone terribly wrong. There are spooks in the streets and the mayor has had no choice but to call in the only professional paranormal investigators and extermination exterminators in the phone book. I don't remember if I ever watched any of the Ghostbusters movies. Could uh, may have watched one as a kid, but I don't really remember. I never had any interest in Ghostbusters. Gameplay 
this is a mod for Freedom Force versus the Third Reich and Das is something of an exciting but strange animal in terms of gameplay you might call it a small tactical RPG <coughs> but that wouldn't quite cover it you command a squad of up to four characters who will have an array of powers that they can use in a destructible 3D environment in this case you'll be using the Ghostbusters in the campaign but you will uh, be able to use other characters in the Rumble Room in this mod you will control the four Ghostbusters as they face a very strange Halloween if you orders to your Busters using Freedom Force's unique interface scrap on a prot proton pack and employ the Ghostbusters ar arsenal of equipment represented as a variety of powers and abilities challenge the restless dead and help make the streets of New York safe once again alright and the original mod was based on uh, it's like superheroes uh, but not based on DC or Marvel but they are similar just their own they are unique for the game and you fight super villains and all that and normal villains too this is a Ghostbuster mod released in 2011 so it's completely different the original game was more like you know you, you control superheroes and fought super villains and normal villains uh, but here you control the Ghostbusters instead it's a mod uh, by <coughs> this guy Benton Gray you only made 10 2010 he has a group Greylands Games Greylands Games is a small modding development group created by Brenton Gray to produce mods and other content for Freedom Force and other games from United States, Mail Okay, I'm an English professor who studies heroism and in interestingly enough I'm a big fan of superheroes, go figure We have a lot of mods for the same game so his second game was Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles so I never actually watched the TV show from the 80s because I, I was uh, was born in December 1989 so I missed out on the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles show from the from 1986 I believe but I did play with the toys actually in the early 90s so I still had a connection to it and uh, then I played some video games uh, all the way through my teenager years and so, so so I played some games and I played with toys but I never watched the show I did watch uh, as an adult a young adult like in my 20s I watched the first uh, Turtles movie it was actually pretty good the, the 90s Turtles movie okay so but I tried this mod in 2019 I played one mission it was actually pretty good it's a professional mod but it's a smaller size by the way, we'll check one thing with the Ghostbusters mod. We'll check its size. Stats. You can see that uh, it was last updated five years ago. 29 members are watching. It's not the most popular mod. Uh, so we can check the downloads. The 2011 version. 239 the mod is at 35.52 megabit size, it's not very big it's a small mod it's impressive for its size and at 8.74 megabit so this is his like smallest mod but it's very unique ok then we have the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles mod so we can read about here summary <coughs> join the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on their first adventure in this mod for the greatest superhero game of all time Freedom Force these adventures are based on the classic cartoon and comics. Meet, meet the whole puzzle of TMNT characters, including fan favorites Bebop and Rocksteady, and also including April, O'Neill, Cassie, Jones, Shredder, Krang, and The Fly. <coughs> I never read the comics neither. So, what are you waiting for? Take a walk down memory lane and see if you can keep from smiling when you load this mod and hear a familiar song on the main menu. Take some time to remember why you love the turtles way back then. Why, why you love the turtles way back then. And why you should still love them today. <coughs> okay, details. This mod has nine missions which will take our half-trailed heroes from their first encounter with the Foot Clan 
up to their discovery of a strange and sinister secret hidden secret hidden below the streets of New York. Along the way, you'll take command of the Green Teens as they battle the Deadly Foot Clan, face the mechanical menace of Baxter Stockman's Mousers, struggle against the mutated might of Bebop and Rocksteady, and even cross blades with the mysterious Shredder. Gameplay. This is a mod for Freedom Force vs. Vers the Third Reich, and thus is something of an exciting but strange animal in terms of gameplay. You might call it a small tactical RPG, but that wouldn't quite cover it. You command a squad of up to four characters who will have an array of powers that they can use in a destructible 3D environment. In this case, you'll be using the Ninja Turtles in most of the missions. However, you'll also earn experience as you progress, allowing you to level up your heroes, making them more powerful. You earn prestige as well, which you can use to recruit other heroes to your cast. <clears throat> in this mod, you'll be able to recruit Cassie Jones. But in um, ensuing ca chapters, you'll be able to recruit Splinter and others as well. Coming soon. Look for more in your turtle section. Coming soon. Okay. Uh, so this mod it has 20 members wat watching it. Uh, it's more popular than the other one. The other one was uh, ranked uh, 12,000 something. This one is at 3,273. So Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is more po popular here than. And Ghostbusters. Okay, and uh, played one mission in this mod. I will probably play it more later because I like Freedom Forces. It's cool to, to show off some mods. I saw in, on YouTube that there were a few reviews of the original game, Freedom Force and Freedom Force vs. the Third Reich, but uh, no reviews of the mods and no one playing the mods. I saw some show off videos from some mods, but only very old let's plays of uh, some of the mods for the first Freedom Force game and none of Benton Grace mods had been uh, previewed on YouTube or played from start to finish okay this one is bigger than the other one, the other one Ghostbusters were at 35 or 38 megabit this is at 98.3 megabit it's a bigger mod released in August 30th, 2011 I believe that there were two files were a later one too no, it wasn't. It was the Pulp Fiction, but it has its own page. We'll check it uh, later. Uh, so I believe it's... Uh, I tried one mission here too. I never finished it to the end, but we will certainly play this mod too. This is the third mod by the same creator, Benton Gray. Released in 2016. The other two mods were released in 2011. <coughs> so, 2016. <coughs> this mod is a love letter to the classic Pulp Heroes of yesteryear tells an original tale of danger and daring do, teaming many classic pulp heroes and several modern characters cut from the same cloth, features a huge cast of characters including most of the pulp heroes and enduring fame. You can play as all your favorite characters from the old magazines, radio shows or serials. <coughs> the characters that sparked America's heroic imagination. The story features several classic pulp villains and a twisting, turning plot that ties into the settings and adventures of many of the starring characters. So, what are you waiting for? Come, ride with Brit, raid, laugh with the shadow, swing with the trees with Tarzan, and buckle your share of swashers with sorrow. So, by the way, I used to read quite a few f uh, comics of the Phantom as a kid, and I watched the Indiana Jones uh, movies. Both of them are heroes in this mod. And as for Sorrow, I remember watching animated uh, movies of Sorrow and uh, live action TV shows of Sorrow when I was a kid. It's been ages since I watched Sorrow to have memories of doing that. Okay, so in this mod we have heroes like the Phantom, Sorrow, and Indiana Jones, and then others like Tarzan. Okay, featuring an epic, sprawling, world-spanning 17 mission campaign. In the Turtles mod we had uh, 9 mission, or it was the Ghostbusters mod. Here we have 17 missions in instead. It's a bigger mod. Over 25 playable characters, beautiful custom art by the super talented Nate Wallace, custom music, Nazi punching, so there are Nazi enemies just like in the Indian Indiana Jones movies, dinosaur wrangling, two fisted action galore, hero roster, Dr. Savage, the Shadow, Indiana Jones, Green Hornet, Cato, the Rocketeer, the Spider, the Spirit, the Lone Ranger. Tonto, Tarzan, Conan Barbarian, I watched the first Conan movie, uh, The Phantom, Captain Midnight, 
Miss Fury, Dick Tracy, Young Liam, Kalu, Monk Mayfair, Flam Brooks, Renny Renwick, Flash Gordon. Yeah, I know about the Flash Gordon movies from the 50s, I believe, but I never watched them. I just uh, watched a documentary on Star Wars and George Lucas and his inspirations for Star Wars, and I believe Flash Gordon was one of the inspirations for the Star Wars movies. So, yeah. Buck Rogers, uh, John Carter of Mars, they at Horus. These characters don't feature in the campaign, um, but are playable in the sandbox mode for the moment. Okay. Okay, and this mod is at place 5000. It's not as popular as the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, which makes sense. As they are older heroes. I believe my father, <coughs> uh, who was uh, like. 71 years old, five years ago. <coughs> he uh, he used to read like the Phantom. I mean, maybe they're not that popular in, in in today's age. But I believe as a kid, I still read the comics and watched the Zorro TV series and such. Okay, and uh, eight members are watching. So yeah, this is not as popular, but it's more popular than the Ghostbusters because they are still heroes. Ghostbusters feel like more like a kids uh, franchise. Um, yeah, superheroes are kids too, but I mean, uh, uh, I think Ghostbusters is for young kids, while superheroes it's for both young kids and uh, teenagers, I believe. And then there are some movies intended for adults, like the, for example, the Punisher TV show, the Daredevil TV show. They were very brutal, bloody. Um, so despite being superhero shows, they were still intended for young adults and all the teens. Okay, so we'll check this. Pulp Adventures, the mod is called Pulp Adventures. It's at 395.75 megabit, so it's way bigger than the, the other mod, Turtles mod, where at 95 gigabyte, uh, megabit. And this is 395, and the first Ghostbusters mod was at 35 or 38, so this is a much bigger mod. And it's impressive. I tried one mission. Um, yeah. Here we have some of the heroes. Sorrow. Indiana Jones. The Phantom. And some others that I don't really know. Conan the Barbarian. Tarzan. Okay. I think out of these three, I think if you like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, uh, you should play that. If you, if you like the Ghostbusters, you could play that. But Otherwise, I think this one is the most uh, worthwhile to play because it's so much bigger than the others. Okay, so those are the three older mods. Then there's the giant Marvel mod, Marvel Adventures. It first released in 2017, not 2018. We will read the text. But I don't know why we can't click on... Okay, <coughs> Marvel Adventures, so this is a huge mod, and unlike the DC Universe mod, this one is actually completed, so this is the most uh, worthwhile to try out, it's the most impressive one, <coughs> but not the most recent, this mod for Freedom Force vs the Third Reich, the greatest super game of all time, features a massive roster of both heroes and villains including most characters you can imagine that were around by the end of the Bronze Age. This mod has everyone from the most famous, like Spider-Man, to the deservedly obscure, like Stilt-Man. Yes, I'm serious. It also features multiple universe-spanning adventures, full campaigns that you can play with different teams of heroes. Alright. <coughs> Not only that, but you can play as literally anyone included in the mod in the game's incredibly sandbox mode. Incredible sandbox mode. Have you always wondered who would win in a fight between the Hulk and the Juggernaut? So the Juggernaut is one of the villains from the X-Men. Well, wonder no longer. You can throw both of those massive muscle men into the arena, taking the controls yourself or watching as a spectator. Curious if the X-Men could take the Avengers? Well, put the question to the test. Features. <coughs> Ten widely different original campaigns packed full of adventure. So, so a campaign is 
a lot of work. If, if you do one campaign, that's a lot of work. And he has ten campaigns, and they are completed, all of them. So many characters that I've literally lost count, around 300. So I said 1000 because I mm, falsely remembered that I had, had read that for, the, for this mod. But it's 300. But yeah, it feels like 1000 when you go through all the characters. Because you have to click one after the other takes forever. Um, maps for some of Marvel's fav famous locations take control of teams of four or more. Heroes or villains use unique powers and abilities, face off with enemies and friends in the rumble room, smash entire cities in your battles. And yeah, you can play TCP IP or LAN and you can play online multiplayer too. Uh, use your destructible environment as a weapon and add your own stories and adventures. And you can play against the computer of course or watch the computer fight the computer. Campaigns. You have the Avengers campaign, the Fantastic Four campaign, the Thor campaign, the X-Men campaign, <coughs> where you control the entire team of X-Men, the Iron Man campaign, the Invaders campaign, Guardians of the Galaxy campaign, Spider-Man and the Marvel Knights campaign, the Shield campaign, and the X-Men 2 campaign, which is solo stories campaign, where you play only uh, certain heroes and their stories, which is the ca campaign I tried in 2019. I played this Wolverine and Gambit, I believe, and Rogue. It was really gr good. I recognized some of the stories from comics I read in the early 2000s, late 90s, I believe. Between 97 and 2001, I believe. Okay. <coughs> if you have... Because in 2002 I started to, to read manga series like Dragon Ball Z. And before that I read Marvel, like Spider-Man and X-Men. And Spawn, which is not Marvel, but is Image Comics. Okay, if, if you have... A, Questions or issues, you, yeah, they should really include uh, Spawn in the DC Universe mod. He is in some of the Batman uh, <laughs> comics as a uh, like guest character, but I think he, he should be added to the DC mod. He, he deserves to be in the game, Spawn, of Image Comics. Yeah, he's, he, he should be in the game. Anyway... <coughs> uh, if you have questions or issues, you can get help from... Uh, yeah. And then there is issues. So this is a huge mod of Marvel. We will certainly play this mod. We will play the campaign in this mod of the X-Men before we play any other campaign. But I am gonna check the DC Universe mod here. We'll check here. We have uh, Marvel Adventures installer released on January 28, 2017. So the mod uh, released after Pulp Fiction. It's at 756.25 megabit in size. I believe I downloaded it back then. It had, ha it's had 191 downloads, not too many. Uh, Marvel Adventures installer 2.1, released on June 5th, 2017. So this is the full version of Marvel Adventures, volume 1 and 2. Includes a massive number of characters, both heroes and villains from Marvel Comics. Okay, let's see what else he wrote. <coughs> yeah, uh, nothing else. Okay. Uh, and then Marvel Adventures 2.1. Is it about the same size, 156 to 56 megabit? Released a few months later. This is the updated full version of Marvel Adventures, volumes 1 and 2. Includes a massive number of characters, both heroes and villains from Marvel Comics. Probably just fix some, some additions. Um, Marvel Adventures version 2.2 installer released on July 30th, 2018. I believe this is the version I have installed because when I re re download this version uh, 2.4, I believe that Wolverine had some pink issues where, where he couldn't use his attacks and he looked like pink. It was a part of him looked pink. While in this version 2.2, that wasn't an issue, and that's why I wanted to play the X Men. Uh, missions. I prefer the one where Wolverine looked uh, all, all right, so I, that's why I use 2.2 instead of 2.4. At least I'm playing the X Men campaign. So 2.2, it's at 756 to 74 megabit. It's about the same size, slightly bigger. <coughs> How do folks? Been hard at work, and here are the first fruits of those efforts. 
I'm releasing a new update for my Marvel Adventures mode that fixes a ton of problems and provides a lot of tweaks and improvements. I'm also including something that has been requested from time to time, which I'll try to make a standard from here on out. The game files for each mission for each campaign. So if you do run into problems or just want to skip around, you can keep playing as you like. So without further ado, you can get the new version of the mod here. Alright. Okay, Marvel Adventures is a mod for the greatest superhero game of all time. Um, this is a work of a fan art for free distribution and used without official permission from Marvel Comics, Disney or anyone else. It's used for fun. It's a gigantic mod that encompasses large swaths of uh, the Marvel Comics universe. It attempts to capture the classic feel of a large amount of characters uh, with new stories set during their heyday. Such icons as Captain America at War. The X-Men, the Avengers, Spider-Man, and the Fantastic Four, as well as a heavy uh, abuse of villains and guest stars. I was hugely into the X-Men comics as a kid and watched the movies and, and the animated TV series, etc. I never really cared much about Thor. He was only in some of the mega Marvel comics that I read, where they had multiple heroes and villains from different Marvel universes. Avengers, I believe. Uh, I watched the movies, but we aren't very we're not very much into the Avengers. Spider-Man, I watched all the movies essentially. Maybe I missed some of the newer ones. Uh, I watched the animated show, parts of it, and I read the comics, and I played some of the games. So yeah, I, I, can't, I had w also a bunch of X-Men and Spider-Man uh, action figures. So yeah, I, I count myself as mostly a Spider-Man and X-Men fan when it comes to Marvel. Captain America, Thor, Avengers and the Fantastic Four, I never really cared about those. It was mostly Spider-Man and X-Men for me, as well as a BOM. Yeah. Included you will find a total of 10 campaigns for a wide variety of characters and teams. You can face the villainous Hellfire Club as the X-Men, struggle to save all of the Nine Realms as the Mighty Thor. This mod is akin to my massive DC Universe according to Grey, though on a much smaller scale. Uh, so this mod is smaller than the DC Universe mod, but has more campaigns. Okay. Uh, maybe it has less custom content. He, maybe it's, he has made more cu custom models and animations and such for the DC Universe. I don't know. Could be the case. I have not tried to capture the entire width um, and breadth, uh, breadth of uh, the entire width, uh, uh, width and breadth of uh, the Marvel Universe. It's my favorite corners thereof. You'll we'll still find a very large mod here, <coughs> with most of the classic heroes and many of the classic villains of the Marvel Universe. On the other hand, this mod embraces a similar design philosophy to the DCU GI, not trying to completely capture any single interpretation of the Marvel U Universe, instead trying to create an idealized version, something to, to the be of the best of all worlds, in my opinion. It is most closely based on the Bronze Age, but I took liberties to clean up continuity for the sake of the story I wanted to tell, or just to include a character or all, or um, alternate, alternate look that I liked. Keep in mind, not all of the campaigns tell complete stories, and all of these are intended to be expanded and continued. In the future I have plans to add campaigns for Doctor Strange, and perhaps Captain Marvel, Hulk, and others. Expansion 1. This release includes the first major expansion of the Marvel Adventures mod a ton of new characters, both heroes and villains, including the big names that don't make it into the mod the first time, the Incredible Hulk and Spider-Man, it also includes new campaigns as well as expansions. Okay, so the X-Men 1 and the X-Men 2 mini campaign telling solo stories, that's one I tried. Uh, yes, yeah, so I, I believe I tried this. Okay, so this is the one released in July 30, 2018, 756 to 74 megabit. It's way bigger than the Pulp Fiction mod. That's twice the size. And then the last version from Ju July 10th, 2021. Okay, so this was released in 2021. I believe I wrong stated wrongly that the DC EU by Gray that it was from 2021 in August because the the mod page was last updated in August 2021. But it was released in April 2023, actually. So about a year and a month ago. Okay, uh, or a year and two months ago soon. Uh, this one is bigger, 933.63 megabit. So it's 
uh, almost 200 megabit bigger than the previous version but I still have the previous version installed because as I said the uh, Wolverine character was bugged in this version might download this and play this later but when I play the X-Men missions I want the Wolverine to not be bugged so that's why I uninstalled this version and reinstalled the older one where, where the X-Men missions worked uh, better Okay, uh, so this version released on July 10, 2021, 933 to 63 megabit in size. It's been downloaded 1041 times. That's a lot based on how much the other versions had been downloaded. Let's check this one. Uh, this one has been downloaded 1149 times. So this one is downloaded slightly more. Marvel is still pretty popular compared to the other ones. Makes sense. As the game is a superhero game, so it makes sense that Marvel is doing better than the Ghostbusters or the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. They are heroes, but they are not superheroes like these. And uh, the Pulp Fiction heroes are so old that they are not very popular anymore. Uh, Marvel Adventures. Yeah more popular for sure and much bigger two times as big as, as the Pulp Fiction mod alright really impressive mod and it's completed too it's an updated release with the full version of the mod <coughs> it, it contains a few new characters as well as balance updates and many improvements to the FX and powers <coughs> so the FX that's like the special effects of the game <coughs> Uh, their special powers are called FX. It also has a few bug fixes, mostly fixing missing textures and objects from campaign missions. Okay. Yeah, I did a review of this mod. Alright, and then we have the DC Universe by Benton Gray. So, the mod page was last uh, updated on August 8, 2021. So, I thought it was released that date, which I said in the previous video. But, the upload was uploaded on April 1st, 2023. So when you upload a mod to, to the ModDB page, you don't necessarily get an updated ModDB page. For, for it to be updated, you need to either post a new article, or post a new picture, or post a new video, or click on an edit button here that is only available to the the owner of the page, Benton Gray, <coughs> and then he can just click save mod without changing anything and it would count as updated. So the mod was last officially updated two years ago, <coughs> which is in uh, 2022, but it's really in 2021, because it's dated, last updated on August 2021. But it comes as two years ago because we haven't reached the date of August 21st or something. So I guess on August 21st it will count as three years ago. Okay, uh, and uh, but the mod itself got uploaded uh, on April 1st, 2023. I didn't know about it. I checked the page recently, like two weeks ago and uh, or something on May 18, 2024. So one week ago and days so 10 days ago I found out about this mod after which I downloaded it and tried some, some battles but <coughs> now I'm doing the video and yeah it was released one year and one uh, soon two months ago so one year and two months ago but because he didn't update the page or post a new article a new picture or a new video it doesn't count as updated um, for some reason it doesn't count as updated when you post new uploads. So that's why I didn't know it had been updated until I actually checked the page. Okay, so the DC Universe by Benton Gray, a mod from 2008. Um, <coughs> let's see the, the text. <coughs> DC Universe, according to Gray, is my love letter to, uh, to a personal take on the DC Comics Universe. It is a humongous, sprawling representation of the DCU with a bronze flavor, yet with modern narrative sensibilities, and it is packed with four color heroes. <coughs> it means that the 
the heroes have four different colors and uh, yeah it's uh, uh, Benton Gray that is writing so uh, when he says uh, um, uh, my love letter it's his love letter of course <coughs> okay yet with modern narrative sensibilities and it is packed with four color heroes his mod for Freedom Force vs. the Third Reich, the greatest superhero game of all time, features an absolutely massive roster of both heroes and villains, including most characters you can imagine from the DC Universe. This mod has everyone from the most famous like Batman and Superman to the ludicrously obscure like most of the Hawkmans and the, the Atoms rogues galleries. It also features multiple universe-spanning adventures, full campaigns that you can play with different teams and of heroes. <coughs> Not only that, but you can play as literal anyone included in the mod in the game's incredibly sandbox mode. Incredible sandbox mode. Have you always wondered who would win a fight between Superman and Captain Marvel, or between the Justice League and the Legion of Superheroes? And by the way, Captain Marvel of DC is not Captain Marvel of Marvel. Uh, in, in the Marvel Universe, it's a female, a woman, a superhero that earlier was named, I believe, previously was named uh, Miss Marvel. But in DC, it's a man, actually, named Captain Marvel. And I believe DC lost the rights to the name after a while to Marvel, I think. I believe Captain Marvel is the older ca character. They lost the right to the name Marvel, I believe. Okay. Uh, between the Justice League. Uh, well, wonder no longer. You can throw any combination of characters into the arena, taking the controls yourself, or watching as a spectator. Curious of the, if the team, uh, curious if the Teen Titans could take on their mentors, or if Batman's villains could take tackle Flash's rogues. Well, put those questions to test. The mod was originally released and finished ten years ago. Ah, it was released ten years ago. I didn't know about it. Uh, but I felt like there was an older version somewhere. Okay, the mod was originally released and finished ten years ago. It has been languishing in purgatory since then. Okay. Since 2014 or maybe even uh, 2011, or maybe earlier. I know that there were videos of the mod already in 2008 on Benton Grace's official YouTube channel, so it's been developing ever since. I've recently de decided to come back, I don't know when he wrote this text, or it could be like a few years ago. Recently decided to come back, update, massively expand and re-release my magnum opus. It's a lot in the works. Follow the mod or visit Freedom Reborn, which is the forum site for Freedom Force. I have a user there, but I've forgotten the, <laughs> the password. Uh, to see how it develops and to have have some impact on the shape it takes. Features six and con six and counting, vital different original campaigns packed full of adventure, hundreds and hundreds of characters from the famous to the obscure, uh, maps for the, some of these is famous locations, take control of teams of four or more heroes or villains, use unique powers and abilities, face off with enemies and friends in the rumble room, smash entire cities in your battles, Use a destructible environment as weapon, classic and heroic flavor to the characters and storytelling. Add your own stories and adventures. Campaigns, Batman and the Bat Family. family. Uh, Justice League, including a classic crossover with the ESA. Uh, Justice, um, whatever, of America. Um, Justice League of America and ESA. I don't remember what A stood for. Uh, the, the Atom, Hawkman, Aquaman. Detective Comics Anthology, featuring the question and a host of guest stars. In the past I used to um, confuse the question with the Riddler, because the Riddler had a lot of question marks on his uh, costume, but they are different characters. I believe the question is a hero from the Detective Comics and DC Comics. Detective Comics was the old name. Then they bear, uh, like, yeah, remembered as DC. But it, stand, it stood for Detective Comics originally. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, Green Arrow and Friends. So the ones I'm interested in here, first and foremost is the Batman and the Bat Family, and then Green Arrow, because I watched the 2012 TV show of Green Arrow. And I watched the 
first two and uh, two seasons of Flash and first half of the third season. I didn't like the third season, but I thought the two first seasons were great. So yeah, I'm interested in Batman and the Bat Family and Green Arrow and Friends. Uh, and uh, because Batman, I hardly read any of the Batman comics. I had one English comic. Uh, I live in Sweden, so we had almost no Batman comics when I grew up in the 90s. Uh, I were old enough to read comics. I believe from maybe 96 to 2001, between the age of 6 to the age of 11 maybe. Anyway, um, I did read maybe one Batman comic, uh, a very Muslim Marvel reader, uh, reading X-Men and Spider-Man. But I watched the uh, Batman animated series on TV, and this was my favorite animated series, even more popular than X-Men. I also love that one and Spider-Man. But uh, yeah, I was a huge Batman fan because of the animated series on TV, and uh, had uh, all the uh, or very many of the action figures and such. So Batman was literally my favorite uh, comic book uh, universe character. But I still read uh, the the Spider-Man and X-Men comics. Uh, because there were no Swedish Batman comics and I was a kid in Sweden in Swedish only the English comics and they were a lot more costly for example you could get Swedish Spider-Man or X-Men comic for let's say uh, two dollars maybe well if you got an English version of Batman then then you had to put out maybe fifteen dollars it was a lot more costly, especially as a kid when, when I had like two dollars a week from my parents. So, so yeah, I, m I bought mostly Spider-Man and X-Men and hardly got any of the English Batman comics because they were so much more um, like yeah, they costed a lot more. Okay, uh, I don't know a lot about Hawkman. Or Aquaman, I haven't watched the movie Aquaman either. Um, yeah, and that I don't know a lot about. So it's mostly Green Arrow and Batman here, and Justice League. Had a Justice League comic, I believe. They they did some Justice League comics in Swedish. But they didn't do Batman. Um, I believe they had done Batman in the 80s and early 90s, but but I was too young to read those. I believe. Okay. So this mod and the Marvel mod are the most impressive. If we check this mod again here, to see its size. You can see that it, it, it's at 3.32 gigabyte in size. Uh, so the Marvel mod was only about 1 gigabyte, the final version. So this is the bigger mod. <coughs> but it has about the same number of characters. I think this one and and the other mod had more campaigns uh, so this one I think has more custom made uh, content like uh, maybe he made more <coughs> more custom made stuff for this one and used more stuff by others in the other mod I don't know it could explain why this one is so much bigger if it has more custom animations and more custom projectiles and more custom custom stuff but it's like two times as big as the Marvel mod even with just six campaigns maybe the six campaigns have more missions too there might be fewer campaigns but have more missions could be anyway let's soon jump into the game we'll check the Freedom Force vs the Third Reich folder uh, that's the video folder, that's not the folder of the game. Um, let's see. Yeah, we're here in the music. I was gonna delete the Batman animated series music because uh, it get uh, it's the only music that gets copyrighted, so I couldn't have the video play in, s in Sweden, where I'm from, and some other countries. It's still played in in the United States, which like 24% of my audience is from the United States and only 6% is from Sweden or 10% or something 14% from Brazil so yeah, most of my audience is from uh, from the United States and it wasn't blocked there, but it was blocked in Sweden and in Brazil my two other 
my second and third largest audience, then I have some other audiences too. United Kingdom, Canada, and some others, uh, Russia. But, uh, yeah, the biggest ones are from the United States, because I'm mostly posting Total War um, mods. And the same, active in the American community for Medieval Total War and Rogue Total War. Most of my audience is from America, of course. Uh, and I'm speaking English, so it makes sense. Brazil, it's because I... I felt I am a Brazilian guy, but I am. I was adopted to Sweden when I was two months old, so I'm literally a Swedish guy, but ethnically a Brazilian guy. So I look like a Brazilian, but I'm a Swedish guy. I can't even speak Portuguese, which is the language they speak in Brazil. Yeah, but yeah, I have 14% uh, of my audience is from Brazil, and 24% uh, from USA, and 10%, I believe, from Sweden. And then there are some others other countries with fewer numbers and uh, the Batman the animated series music was uh, blocked in Sweden and some other countries but not in the United States so I think if I remove it it will be fine then I can have the music play uh, but uh, if it's included then I need to mute it and that's a problem if I speak at the same, the same time it would force me to to, to disable all the music in the game and that's boring when you play if you don't have any music but uh, the problem is that the music works in this mod that it plays in the background of the game and uh, it's mostly in the menu I don't know if it plays in, in, the, in the battles you might have the vanilla music in the battles but uh, whenever the uh, animated series music from Batman the animated series um, whenever it plays uh, it gets uh, blocked and if I mute it I also mute my voice so anything I said when that music played was muted and if I didn't mute it it wouldn't be possible to watch for a certain members of my audience even though my majority my audience would still be able to watch it okay uh, <coughs> so the DC Universe mod and we have different programs here maybe they are dot .exe files uh, not dot .bat files, we have the question DC the question, DC Mr. in space, DC Justice League of America DC Green Arrow, DC Batman and DC Aquaman so these are the custom campaigns when you start up the mode you will always have access to the rumble uh, mode battle arena and all the characters of all these campaigns are available and any character you add as custom characters to the main game will also be available if you create them need to go to the character creation menu and create them first uh, but uh, while, the, while the ones from this mod are available as already existing characters uh, but uh, if you start the Batman campaign then you will only be able to play the Batman campaign when you click on the campaign uh, so you need to exit and start up the Aquaman campaign to play the Aquaman campaign so depending on which one you choose you get a different campaign but uh, all the character characters are still available in the Rumble Arena or uh, like uh, custom battle mode or watch mode. Okay, so I think we're done here <coughs> with this video. Now we will jump into the, the mod actually. We'll look up both mods, both the Marvel mod and this mod. We'll start with this one. <laughs> but I think we will end this video here. Here and then we will do a third video where we are inside the game and where we check out all the characters and play some battles probably let the AI play and then such it will be a preview video too we'll go through all the ca cool characters and such uh, of both mods and then we will start campaigns uh, later okay but thank you for watching so by the way as we have already checked other mods check uh, the Ace Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 we have only one campaign here so it's like simpler mod then we have Marvel, Aven uh, Marvel Adventures we have a few campaigns we have the Fantastic Four Invaders, Iron Man Shield, Spider-Man, X-Men and uh, I believe there were two X-Men campaigns. Well, the 
17. I don't know. X-Men 2 campaign. There is an X-Men 2 here. And a Thor campaign. Spider campaign. Yeah, there are more campaigns here. Avengers. And some others. But I can't see all of them here. Fantastic Four. Marvel Invaders, Iron Man. Shield, Spider-Man, X-Men. Can't see the X-Men 2 campaign here. Weird. Better look into that later. Right, but thank you for watching and see you later. Bye.